Hello everyone. As you all would be aware that the CBSE board has released a sample question paper for class 10th for this term's examination which are to be held in the month of March and April of this year. So based on that sample question paper, Goyal Brothers Prakashan have released a set of various books in different subjects. Now this is the book for social science. The subject code is 087. This is basically a question bank which contains the CBSE sample question paper with the model test papers for the children to practice. Now here, I let me tell you that this book is basically based on the latest reduced and bifurcated syllabus for term 2 examinations which are to be held in the month of March and April which I have already just mentioned. Also, this book has chapter wise summary and question bank. It has the CBSE sample question paper which is solved with the marking scheme. Plus, it has five model test papers which are unsolved based on the CBSE sample question paper. Let me take you through the book and tell you how the complete book has been designed. To start with, we have this syllabus in the starting. If you see, this is the reduced and bifurcated syllabus for academic year 2021 and 22. The course structure is given here along with the evaluation scheme. You can see the syllabus is here and the marks which are allotted to each chapter or each unit are on the right side. So this is the evaluation scheme. After that, we have the syllabus for term 2. After the syllabus, we have the contents. If you see, there are different sections in the contents. This is section A, which is chapter-wise question bank. In, in this section A, there are four units. Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3 and Unit 4. So, all the units are divided into four parts. Plus, the question banks are there in all units. So, after the section A, we have section B, which is the CBSC sample question paper, which is released by the CBSC board. After that, we have section C, the model test papers. These are unsolved model test papers, which are based on the CBSC sample question paper. Now, let me take you through the units individually. This is section A of the book. The first unit is India and the contemporary world too. This chapter one is nationalism in India. Now here if you see, the summary is given in the starting. Every unit has been designed in a similar manner where the complete summary of the chapter is provided in the starting. This is for the very simple reason that the child can revise and recapitulate the complete chapter in a very short while. That is why the summary is given point wise. After the summary, we have the question bank. Now, question bank is solved. All the answers are provided in the question bank. Before I tell you about the question bank, let me also tell you questions from the previous year's question paper are included in these question bank. Plus, the questions patterns are similar to the questions which are there in the CBSE sample question paper. Alright, so let me tell you how the question bank has been designed. In the question bank, in the starting, we have very short answer type questions, which are two marks each. There are 18 very short answer type questions. After that, we have short answer type questions, section B, which offer three marks each. As I have mentioned earlier, all the answers are provided along with the questions. After that, we have section C, which is the long answer type questions. These are for 5 marks each. As mentioned earlier also, all the answers are provided along with the questions. So, these are all long answer type questions. Right? After that, we have section D, which is case study based questions. Now, these are case based questions and answers are provided along with the questions. After that, we have section E, which is map skills based questions and the maps are solved as I have already mentioned earlier. So, these are all map skills based questions. After that, we come to another unit which is chapter 9 money and credit economics. In this again, 
the summary is given in the starting already mentioned earlier everything is given point wise for the child to revise in a very short while after the complete summary we have the question bank and it has been again made in a similar manner as the sample question paper so in the starting we have two marks type questions which are very short answer type questions after that we have short answer type questions section b which are for three marks each after that we have section c the long answer type questions which are for five marks each you can see these are long answer type questions after that we have section d case based questions all the answers are provided in the case based question right after that we come to section b of the book which is the cbsc sample question paper which is released by the cbsc board now here if you see again various sections are given again two marks three marks and four marks type questions are there in the sample paper so here this is a solved sample paper released by the board you can see this is the sample paper right the map skills based questions are also there after this we come to the sixth section c part of the book which is the model test papers unsolved now as i have already mentioned earlier all the model test papers are based on the cbsc sample question paper there are five model test papers all unsolved for the practice of the students so this is the model test paper the pattern is exactly the same like the sample question paper right so this is the model test papers in similar manner there are another four model test papers if you wish to book the samples for these question banks you can mail us at info@goyal-books.com to view the sample books you can visit the website www.goyal-books.com/cbsc term 2 mtp class 10 also if you want to purchase these books and question banks you can visit the website www.goyal hyphen books dot com. Thank you so much. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes six to ten. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English, and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment, and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test. practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright duty and avail your courses at affordable prices